Hey, what's up guys, Jakey here. Today I'm going to be going over how to set up your tablet for Osu. So first things first, we want to go to opentabletdriver.net, link in the description below, and we want to click on tablets. So we want to make sure that our tablet is supported by the software before we proceed any further. I'm currently using the Gammon S620, so you can just type that in the search bar and you can see under status that my tablet is supported. So you want to make sure that for your tablet, it is supported. After that, you can go back to the homepage and you want to make sure that you uninstall any previous drivers that you have. So for example, if you have any Wacom drivers installed, you want to make sure that you uninstall all of those before installing this new driver. After that, just make sure you click on your operating system. I'm using Windows, so I'm going to click on that. And then under dependencies, you want to make sure that you install the net desktop runtime. You just click on this link right here and it will start a download for you. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install that, but you just want to make sure that you have it installed. After you have the runtime installed, you want to go under installation and you want to click on the latest release here and it will start the download for you. So once you have this zip file, you want to unzip it with either WinRAR or 7-zip or whatever you use. I'm going to put both of these files on my desktop for now, but you want to make sure you put them somewhere easily accessible. So now that we have both of these extracted to our desktop, I'm going to open the one with the icon and you can also tell because it has the UX in the name. So you want to double click on this one and it will open a window similar to this. If it asks you to install, then you should just hit install. But if you don't have your tablet plugged in, it'll just be a blank screen. I'm going to plug in my tablet right now so you guys can see what it looks like. So there we go. I just plugged in my tablet and a screen like this should pop up. This is kind of what it should look like. If the program isn't detecting your tablet, there's a couple things you can try. Uh, first is replugging your tablet. Second, you can try a different USB port on your computer. If all of that doesn't work, you can also try going under tablet here and click detect tablet. Those are just some quick troubleshooting that you can do if it doesn't detect your tablet. If the driver still doesn't see your tablet, just make sure double check that it is that your tablet is supported by the software. You can also try restarting your computer as well. And of course, make sure you uninstall all of your old drivers as well. So now that we have the program installed, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to go over how to use the program and kind of like how to say your area and stuff. But you want to make sure that you put these two executables somewhere easily reachable because you will have to launch this every time you want to use your tablet for OSU. So I recommend putting this maybe in your OSU folder and then just creating a shortcut. Anyways, the main tab we want to be looking at is going to be the output tab. This is where you set your area and map it to your monitor. So under display at the top here is it's going to show you which monitor it's set to. So the blue is pretty much the area where it's mapped to. You can see this is my main monitor and then on the right is my second monitor. If you right click, you actually get a bunch of different options. So you can set it to display one or display two, or you can even set it to both displays. Um, obviously for most people, you're going to want to set it to your main monitor. So under that is going to be tablet where you change your area. Um, and pretty much area is like the equivalent of sensitivity for mice. For mice, you change your sensitivity and for tablets, you just change the area. So the blue rectangle is going to be your area. You can right click again to see a bunch of different options. You can align it to the center and stuff with this one. And you can also lock the aspect ratio, which I highly recommend you do. And the easiest way to change area is just to type in the width right here. And since we locked the aspect ratio, the height will change with the width. So you only have to really worry about the width. And the lower you set this number, the faster your tablet will move. So the less distance you have to move your pen. The higher you set your area, the more distance you will have to move your pen. So think of it as the lower the area, the higher the sensitivity. The higher the area, the lower the sensitivity. So for example, if I set this to 40, you can see the blue rectangle gets smaller, which represents the area that I have to move my pen. Whereas if I set it higher, like at 200, you can see it gets bigger, which means I have to move my pen more. I like it on 75 and I'm just going to right click, align it to the center. And also make sure every time you make a change, just hit save and apply so that it saves. Down here, you can switch between absolute mode and relative mode. I always recommend staying on absolute mode because relative mode uh, is like a mouse basically where you have to like lift your pen. Absolute mode is the tablet mode. Next up is the filters tab. This is why this program is so powerful because you can download different filters for your tablet. Um, all filters do, well, every filter has different purposes, but the one I have is the Devo Cub anti chatter, which basically reduces the shake in my pen. If you want to download different filters and see all the ones available, you can click on plugins, open plugin manager, and you can see all the ones here. The third tab is pen settings. This is where you can remap your pen. Uh, so if you don't want the tip to left click, you can disable that or rebind it completely. And then the last three tabs, you don't really have to worry about at all. 
Another cool thing you can do with this program is if you are coming from a Wacom tablet and you already have an area set and you want to convert that, you can actually do that by right clicking and clicking on convert area. From here, you can convert different areas from Wacom, uh, Vake, Huion, Gaumon into this program. Also, you can save presets by clicking on file and you can save presets as well. So after you have this program open, you will have to minimize it. Um, you can't close it. So if you want to use your tablet while playing Osu, you need to minimize it. And it pretty much just stores away into your taskbar here. Okay, now we're just going to go over some troubleshooting. So if it's not, if your tablet isn't working in Osu, if your tablet's like stuck, if your cursor's stuck in like a corner, here are some things you can try to fix that. So head into your options. Scroll down to your mouse settings, which is right here. You want to try turning on raw input and turning it off. Try both. Some tablets work well with raw input, some don't. If you have raw input on, make sure your sensitivity is set to 1x. You also want to try turning map absolute raw input on and off. I prefer both of these off for my tablet. Another thing you want to check is you want to make sure that disable mouse buttons in play mode is enabled. The reason you want to do this is because by default with your tablet, if you tap your pen on your tablet surface, it will click in game. So in order to turn that off, you just disable mouse buttons in play mode. You can either do this in the options or you can press F10 on your keyboard is the shortcut for disabling that. So just press F10 and make sure that mouse buttons are disabled. And that's pretty much it guys. But I also want to go over some frequently asked questions in my last tablet setup video that I'm going to answer in case some of you guys are having similar problems. Okay, so this is the video I made eight months ago. I'm just gonna read some of the comments. Um, just in case any of you guys are having similar issues, I'll answer them right here. This person has a problem. The cursor only moves within a certain portion of the display. I could move the cursor around, but when I try to move the cursor down to the bottom of the tablet, it doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the display. So the cause of this is probably your mapping to your display is not full. So you want to go into the tablet software, click set the display and make sure you click on your main monitor what you have is probably like it's probably like something like this so you're missing like the bottom part of your monitor so you just want to make sure that it's mapped fully to your main monitor this person said um the new drivers work well but are really sensitive any suggestions how to fix so sensitivity is probably caused by a low area so if you you probably have a really small area which is why it's so sensitive um you can try making your area higher if you're talking about the shake in your pen, like your pen is really shaky, that's probably because this tablet driver has zero smoothing and zero latency, which is why it feels different to your old drivers. If you want to get some of that old latency or that old feeling back, you can use like some of the filters like the Devo Cub. You can add latency and what this does is it will make it so that your pen isn't as sensitive, basically. You can also use the anti-chatter, which gets rid of any pen shake, which is also maybe what you're feeling. This person said, I have a problem you mentioned with my cursor getting stuck in a corner. Didn't try your fixing method yet, but I know it's not only my problem. Yeah, a lot of people have this problem and most of the 90% of the time it's because of the raw input. So again, try turning raw input on and off. Will installing the drivers for OSU mess up the settings for digital art? Uh, probably, most likely, I think. I'm not sure if these drivers support like, what's it called, pressure input. So if you're a digital artist, you might not want to install this software. This person said, does anyone have this problem? When I increased sensitivity, my cursor shakes like crazy. Um, so you don't want to be increasing your sensitivity in OSU. You want to be using the area. But if you're using a small area and your cursor is shaking, that's completely normal. Smaller areas will bring out more shake in your pen. Um, but again, you can use filters like the anti-chatter to get rid of some of that shake. Tablet only detects lower half of the screen in OSU. Won't let me reach the top. Again, your probably display mapping isn't correct. Is there a way to flip your tablet area? Because for example, I would want my tablet wire to be on my right instead of my left. I'm not really sure what this means, but you can move your area around here. So if you want it on the left, just drag it to the left, or you can right click align left or right click align right. So yeah, um, this person said, how can I tell if I'm on tablet mode instead of mouse mode? Absolute mode is tablet mode. Relative mode is mouse mode, so keep it on absolute mode. This person said, every now and then the driver stops detecting my tablet and I have to reconnect my tablet. Does anyone know how to fix this? Maybe try using a different USB port. Uh, honestly, I don't know. Maybe you have a faulty tablet that keeps disconnecting. This person said, how can I put my tablet sensitivity higher? So again, sensitivity is area for tablets. So if you want a higher sensitivity, meaning you move your pen less, 
you want a lower area. If you want a, a lower sensitivity, then you want to make your area higher. This person said, how can I change my tablet from right-handed to left-handed? There is no such thing as left-handed and right-handed. You just use whichever hand is more comfortable and just hold your pen with, like, it doesn't matter if you're right-handed or left-handed. You just hold your pen with either hand and you can use the tablet. If you're talking about you want your area on the other side of your tablet, you just move it in here, like I said earlier. What are the filters for? I don't know what they are. So the filters, basically, there's a ton of different filters that do different things. Like hover distance limiter, it will tell you what it does. It limits the hover distance or removes it entirely. Honestly, a lot of these are pretty useless, but the Devo Cub anti-chatter is a very good one that I recommend. And what this one does is you can actually hover over and it will tell you what it does. Latency will add smoothing to your tablet. Um, the anti-chatter will get rid of shake. And prediction, I'm not really sure, but I have that turned off, so. How can I disable the pen click? Like I said earlier, just press F10 in your OSU. Is there no mouse feature like the tablet drivers from before? There is mouse mode. Relative mode is mouse mode. Absolute mode is tablet mode. How can I lock my area? Um, you really can't lock your area, but you just like set your area and then don't touch it. I don't know why you would need to lock it. You just literally don't touch it. Just save and apply, minimize, and you don't have to worry about it. I bought the Gammon i620 and I downloaded the Gammon drivers, but now I want this driver. Do I must uninstall the Gammon drivers to download this driver? Yes. So you have to uninstall any previous drivers that you have before installing this new one. This person said, can someone explain why I need all this? I can't just plug and play with tablet like mouse. Uh, no. So with drivers you do, or with uh, tablets, you do need drivers. Plus with the drivers, it allows you to do a lot of different things like change your area and stuff like that. So that's why you need drivers with a tablet. What do you mean by changing area? So changing area is just this thing right here where you can change your tablet area, meaning if you make it bigger, you have to move larger distances. And if you make it smaller, you have to move less with your pen. How do you turn Windows ink off in this? I'm pretty sure it's off by default. It doesn't go to the edge. If you mean the edge of the tablet, you can, you make it full area and it will use all of the available space on your tablet area. If you mean on your monitor, then you wanna look at your display mapping. It's probably not mapped fully. All right, guys, that's pretty much all of the big questions that I got. I hope this video helps you guys set up your tablet, and I will see you in the next video. If this helps you out, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.